All right, today we are going to talk about simplifying and evaluating expressions. So first we are going to talk about simplifying expressions. And you need to get out a piece of paper and write down the problems that we do in this video because they will help you because I'm doing problems straight off the Google form that you will have for an assignment after this video is over. So for this problem, this is number one on the Google form we're going to do. So make sure you write it down. So this says simplify 7x plus 5 minus 4x minus 16. So that 7x plus 5 minus 4x minus 16, that is an expression. Remember, an expression is like a mathematical phrase, and it doesn't have an equal sign. So when we are simplifying an expression, we are going to combine like terms. That's our goal. To simplify this, we need to combine like terms. So first, let's go through and look and see what our like terms are. So this 7x, this has an x next, the 7 has an x next to it, so I'm going to highlight that blue. I'm going to go through. I'm not going to highlight this 5 blue because it's not a term that has an x, so I'm going to leave it alone for now. Negative 4x, that is a like term with 7x, so I'm also going to highlight it blue. And then negative 16, I'm not going to highlight that blue because it doesn't have an x. I'm going to go back through all of the numbers in my expression that did not have an x next to them, so all the constants, I'm going to highlight those yellow. So this plus 5 and this minus 16, those are like terms. So now everything I have highlighted in blue, these two blue terms are alike, and then everything I have highlighted in yellow, these two yellow terms are like terms. So now we need to combine our like terms. A good first step to take is to rewrite the expression so that the like terms are next to each other. So that's what I did here. If you see, I rewrote it as 7x minus 4x, so I have my two x terms next to each other, plus 5 minus 16. And now we are going to actually combine our like terms. So first let's combine our blue terms here, the ones that have x's in them. 7x minus 4x, you have to say, okay, if I have 7x's and I give 4 away, how many do I have left? So what is 7 minus 4? And there we see that that is 3x. So I combine my blue terms, I have 3x now, and then I just brought down the yellow one, so plus 5 minus 16. Now we want to go through and see if there are any more like terms that we can combine. So if we see here, only one of our terms is blue, only one term has an x, so we can't combine that with anything. So we're just going to write that back down. So we're going to write down 3x. And now these yellow terms, the plus 5 and the minus 16, those are alike, so we can combine those. So you want to do 5 minus 16 to get negative 11. So that right there is our final answer. So when we simplify 7x plus 5 minus 4x minus 16, once we combine our like terms and simplify that expression, we get 3x minus 11 as our answer. We cannot go any further because we do not have any more like terms. So once you've combined all your like terms, you are done simplifying. Numbers 1 through 5 on your Google Form assignment are going to be like this problem. They're going to be simplifying. So all you need to do is combine like terms. For 6 through 10, that's where we're going to actually evaluate expressions giving, given um, values. So when we are evaluating, our answer is just going to be a number. There's not going to be any x's left. We're not going to have multiple terms. Our answer is just going to be a number. So let's look at this. It says we want to evaluate 6x plus y minus y given that x equals 8 and y equals 3. So they're giving us an expression and telling us what values we need to substitute in to that expression. So, okay, over here in my expression, everywhere I see an x, I'm going to highlight all of my x's blue. So, here is an x, I highlighted blue. Okay, now the problem tells me that x equals 8. 
So I'm also going to highlight that blue just so we can color code it and have it match. Then my other variable that I have in this problem is y. So everywhere I see a y in this expression, I'm going to highlight all of my y's green. And over here where it tells me y equals 3, I'm also going to highlight that green. So now what this problem is telling me to do, it's telling me, hey, in order to evaluate this expression, everywhere I see an x, I need to substitute in an 8 because x is actually equal to 8. And everywhere I see a y, I need to substitute in the number 3 because y is actually equal to 3. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through and we're going to, everywhere we see an x, we're going to replace it with an 8. Everywhere we see a y, we're going to replace it with a 3. So then it's going to look like this. So we have 6 times x, but hey, we know x is 8. So next to that 6, we want to put an 8. And you want to put it in parentheses. When you're substituting a value in like that, make sure you put this 8 in parentheses. And then plus y, but oh, we know y is equal 3. Equal to 3. So I retook this y and I replaced it with a 3. Now our expression says minus y, but guess what? We know what y is. y is equal to 3. So again, everywhere you see a y, you're going to replace it with a 3. And now we can actually evaluate this expression. You can either use a calculator or Desmos. So I'm going to type it in Desmos to show you how to do that. So we have 6 times 8 plus 3 minus 3. So we need to take this and type it into that Desmos graphing calculator. So remember, to get to Desmos, you just go on Google and you go to www.desmos.com. When you do that, it will take you to a page that looks like this, and you want to click on Graphing Calculator. Now that I'm here on the calculator, I can actually type in that expression we're trying to evaluate. So we had 6 times 8, remember the 8 needs to go in parentheses, plus 3 minus 3. And when I type that in, you can see that it gives me an answer of 48. So I'm going to go back to our smart notes here. The answer to our problem is 48. When we evaluate that expression by substituting in known values for our variables, we get that the answer is 48. So now for your assignment for today, you want to complete the simplifying and evaluating expressions Google form that is posted in the classwork section of Google Classroom. It is posted under the week three header. You need to get an 80% on this assignment to earn full credit. So if you do not get an 80% or above on the first try, you, you need to redo the Google form so that you can get full credit for this assignment.